I want to talk to you about data. Data is everywhere. We're always talking about big data analytics, artificial intelligence, the use of data, the misuse of data. The misuse of data has caused massive challenges because it's made people nervous about sharing information. The work that Cambridge Analytica did with Facebook to influence elections is a prime example of that. I'd hate for those kind of situations to prevent us in health using the massive amount of routinely collected data we've got to improve services for people in Bristol and the surrounding area. So there are challenges, but in Bristol we've got opportunity. And in Bristol, one of the opportunities is through the Digital Health Research and Development Group, set up under Bristol Health Partners. We've collaborated with Connecting Care, the West of England Academic Health Science Network, Patients and Public of course, and last but by no means least, Healthier Together. This group has been set up to try and think about some of the challenges, but also see if we can release some of the opportunities. We've got four work streams. With the concerns I've raised, the first work stream has to be patient and public. It's critical because people are concerned about the risks, but also they don't like the fact that lots of data might lie dormant without being used to improve services. The second thing we've done with the Elizabeth Blackwell Institute at the University of Bristol is to develop a map of data sets. We don't exactly know what's in those data sets but we know that they exist and roughly what they cover. There are nearly 500 of these across all the partners in Bristol Health Partners and the other collaborating groups. We are looking to use those data sets, perhaps even to combine some of those data sets using local academic expertise to try and improve services. So we're looking to broker placements between universities and health service providers to make use of some of the great expertise we've got in big data analytics, epidemiology and artificial intelligence in those universities and put that to work in the services locally to try and improve things for patients. We're hoping to get some projects running as well. They might be small, but they'll be exemplar projects which demonstrate how we can use data better to improve services. If you're interested in this, you want to get involved, then we're looking for your help. We want you to have these discussions, to collaborate, to help us improve the data map that we've started work on, and also to help us develop these placements to broker connections between academics and service providers, and to think about projects which we might develop to help improve services. So if you need help, if you want to get involved, then please do contact us via the details at the end of this video. Thank you very much.